Well, welcome to St. Mary's, Our Lady of the Annunciation in Rockwood, Michigan. And we have been gifted by a visit, a visit from heaven via Rome. One of the statues that was blessed by Pope Francis in this beautiful year that we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Mother of God's visit to the three children of Fatima. What a blessing it is that when the sisters brought this, this beautiful statue into our parish, already we could feel the graces of heaven just touch souls. And it's been my prayer, even from the first moment that when we heard that the statue was coming, that hearts would be moved. And as scripture said that hearts would be moved from parents to their children, children to their parents, that there would be peace love and unity in families, because families are the very nucleus of society. And you know, it all starts with the heart of our mother, Mary, in her perfect yes. And that's, I think, what we're all striving to do is give God our perfect yes. And you know, even though we fail, perhaps time and time again, it's Mary who, with her loving arms, with that beautiful heart of hers, full of mercy and love. Uh, she picks us up, even when we don't even know it. Uh, she's the gift from heaven that God gave us. She is the gift from heaven that God himself chose to enter into his own creation, to bring back this fallen creation, our weakness, our brokenness, and unite our hearts that are so wounded by so many different things. Uh, united with her son's heart. This is the message that heaven wants of us. This is the message that our dear mother brings us. Return to me. I'm mercy, I'm love. And even though none of us are really worthy of it, our God loves us so much, he gives us his very mother and says, come home. I love you, I want you. Care, uh, confession, Adoration, the Holy Rosary, and Eucharist. Confession, all of us are sinners. <laughs> Otherwise, our dear Lord would have never come to earth. But he came to us because he loves us. And it's his gift of mercy and confession that washes our souls clean. Every time you and I go to confession and receive the absolution of a priest, our souls become as innocent and as pure as on the day of our baptism. And what joy it brings us when we go to confession to know that our God doesn't hold grudges, but he loves us so very much. I think the greatest thing, accomplishment we can do for all eternity is to adore our Lord in heaven. And although we struggle with it here and now, the more that we just adore him in our, the silence of our prayer. And that's one of the gifts of our ladies, silence. But to adore him in the littleness that we are, and he makes us great. The Holy Rosary, our, you know, our lady, when we pray the Holy Rosary, she teaches us what virtues we're lacking, but not in a harsh way, in a very gentle way. And it's in the Holy Rosary, she teaches us what virtues we need in our life to be pleasing to God. And then Eucharist, it goes Eucharist and adoration go hand in hand. It's in the Eucharist that when we notice in ourselves what virtues we are lacking, it's in the presence, the true presence of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament in the Eucharist, he fills those virtues in us. He supplements what we do not have. What a beautiful way to express it with care. Confession, adoration, the Holy Rosary, and in the presence of our Lord in the Blessed Eucharist. Of course, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, her sorrowful and immaculate heart, may the merits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, her Son and our Lord, come upon you and always stay with you and all those you hold near and dear to your heart, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ave Maria.
Father. My name is Father Zachary of the Mother of God. I'm a priest with the Society of Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity, and I serve as the uh, rector formator of the seminarians for our community in Asia. Uh, and this evening, and I was so privileged to be here, it just touched my heart. I mean, I felt as if my, my mother was coming to visit me. But, but my real joy was seeing the effect on the people because as a priest, I've had the privilege of, of, of going to Fatima and going to many places around the world and, and seeing Our Lady's uh, maternal intercession work in so many people's lives. But, you know, a lot of people uh, here in, in Michigan, for example, can't, can't leave their jobs, can't leave their families, but Our Lady came here as their mother, and you could see it in their eyes, you could see it in their hearts, and uh, she's calling them to live as a family. We, we see, especially here in the United States, that marriage and family is under attack, and Mar Mary has come to, to bring healing to that. But ultimately, we know that, that the true healing that we all need is gonna come when we when we do what our, our Lord tells us. Mary tells us, do whatever Jesus tells us, do whatever he tells you. And that was basically her message at Fatima. You know, she appeared and basically proclaimed the gospel message. And uh, she wants us to make reparation through prayer and sacrifice. She wants us to be like her son. Uh, she wants us to embrace the cross. And, and it's, it's gonna be through prayer, the meditations on the mysteries of the rosary. You know, there's, there's so much, lack of peace in this world. We, we see it on the news all the time, whether it's things that are happening in North Korea or the Middle East or wherever. The only way we're going to have peace is if we listen to what Our Lady asked us to do, which is pray and make reparation, you know, basically get consecrated, live the message of Fatima, make an oblation of ourselves, uh, center our lives in the Eucharist. Fatima is really a Eucharistic message. If we, if we do what Our Lady asks us, marriage and family will be healed. Uh, the sixth apparition at Fatima, you know, with the miracle of the sun, but on the, on the left of the sun was Joseph with the child Jesus blessing the world. And on the other side, it was Our Lady of the Rosary. I mean, you know, there's the Holy Family. We want families to be holy. We want marriages and families to be holy. And we want blessings. And, you know, great things can happen. The Lord is risen. But we have to heed the message Our Lady gave us. I mean, God in His mercy sent us our mother through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima. May Almighty God bless you and your apostolate in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth as missionaries in this third Christian millennium. Amen. Hello, my name is Father Bill Tyndall. I'm the pastor at St. Michael's Parish in Livonia, Michigan, a suburb of Detroit. This has been a tremendous experience for our parish. Many people have come to me uh, in gratitude uh, for the opportunity that the statue was brought here, first of all. But many of them felt a, a, a real sense of a conversion in their hearts. They felt a deepening of faith. And it really made a huge difference for the people who came, but I would also suggest to you for our parish as a whole. Today, we had our school children here, which comprises almost 700 students, and they were all invested into the scapular, something that they had, many of them had never seen before. And so this became for them a wonderful opportunity to realize the significance of Mary in their own lives. And so we're very grateful for this opportunity and, and for the very uh, sense of grace that has come upon us during this 48-hour visit. So once again, we are grateful. And we thank our Lord that this was able to take place. And we, as always, uh, we always ask our children to say the Hail Mary every day. And we are confident that Mary's grace will be upon them and protect them always. Once again, thank you.
dearest, rarest, help us, help, we cry to Thee. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Lady, help in pain and sorrow, soothe those racked on beds of pain. May the Think of all the suffering that you may be experiencing right now. All the suffering that you are experiencing now. If you just remember them in your mind and your heart, and then imagine, unite this suffering in union with the passion and death of Jesus, in reparation for my sins, in reparation for my sins, and the sins of the people that I'm praying for. ceiling and I see her and and she blows me kisses and I talk to her even though I'm doing my work I still could talk to her at the same time and um and they're great to me Jesus and Mary always um, will love me and always will love everyone and I hope um, and I don't need anything because he um, he is what I want. Um, I love Jesus and Mary and they're great. I love them so much. Big hugs and kisses for Jesus and Mary. Mary. 